This is the Workplace Ninja podcast coming to you live from our summit in Baden with highlights, insights, and interviews. So, hello, there are we again on the screen, on the back screen here over in Baden at the Workplace Ninja Summit, still on the first day. Still on the first day, still going strong. <laughs> yeah, and uh, still some other green shirts on the other side. <laughs> That are the speaker shirts, the green ones. The yellow ones is for some some stuff. And Harjit has his own shirt. Yep. What's that? What's, what's on that shirt? It's Ninja. Yeah, but Ninja is on the... It's a dino. Ninja cat or Ninja... Yeah. On uh, some dino. <laughs> on, on, a, on a dino. Yeah, in, in, in the Netherlands, <laughs> we had a, a, a ninja on a cow somewhere. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, it could be in the Netherlands. It could, it could also be Denmark. Absolutely. We have a few cows. Yeah, I, th- I think you have. So let's do intros. Yeah. We do, we have. Peter, still. Peter. Ar- Arjit, that's a co-host. Yeah. Ronnie. Ronnie Peterson from Peterson Denmark. Denmark, yes. And, and Jorgen Nilsson from Sweden. From Sweden. Yes. And you both did a session together. Yeah, we actually just completed our session. Yes. Uh, the first one on community tools. So that the was fir- pretty first good. First one. Yes, we have another one tomorrow on troubleshooting. On troubleshooting. In, Beautiful. Into in troubleshooting? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mostly. <laughs> so if people want to join tomorrow, <laughs> uh, they need to be here. Maybe oh, yeah. it's WSUS troubleshooting. Uh, no, it's <laughs> definitely in team troubleshooting. <laughs> and you should be there, actually. Yeah. Okay, but today it was a, a, we, we will talk about a little bit about community. Uh, Harjit is still Microsoft. <laughs> 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 but you were in the community in the in the in the past yeah, as, as well. I still am. <laughs> yeah, but now from the other side. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> what what does that mean? What does that mean? To be from the other side, uh, from the Microsoft. <laughs> so I bring, so I guess I bring Microsoft perspectives, right, to the community, um, and then I draw from the community and bring that, that IT pro perspective back internally as well, right? So listening on both sides is really, really important in order to make a difference and improve on things, right? Especially the technologies that we work with. So it just it just can be a one way, you know, dictation, right? Like, hey, this is the way we want to do it. This is how you guys are gonna have to do it. We gotta listen to each other, and I fit in that role where I can bring back, back and forth, right? And I can talk to you people like you guys. Hey, this is what we're working on. What do you guys think? Good? No good? Right? And uh, and we learn a lot from each other. And we are always dead honest as well. So Yeah, exactly. We'll try to. Yes. And as, M- as Microsoft MVPs, right? I mean, you guys have been really like honest and truthful and to the point. Um, and not only that, you guys have NDA information. You get to play with things sometimes in advance, right? Test it, feel it, get feedback. Yeah. But the session was not on the community, about the community, but the tools that it we was have. Exactly, it was about community tools, mm-hmm. which are like, again, back to the product group. It's they're bridging the gap in the product, basically. Yep. This is what we need in the real world. This is what we have, and that's why community tools are made up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to solve that gap or help that gap. And to yeah. be s- to be specif- specific, well, uh, the session was you know mainly a session actually to honor all of the contributors in the community by showing off and demoing a lot of tools. I think we had like 20, 25 tools that we demoed uh, in one hour. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. So so basically, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's all about you know getting you know the tools out there, and maybe if there's one or two or three of these tools that can help anyone. You know, it's 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 a really good thing because it is like Jurgen is saying. It's it, we are trying to close the gaps with the community tools. Microsoft is building tools for you know all of the companies for all sizes all over the world, and it's really hard to 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 find, you know, and and and, and fix every scenario that is that is required out there. So so sometimes it's just easier to build these uh, community tools. And the great thing is that if these tools become really popular, then Microsoft is often actually picking it up and say, okay, maybe we should do it like this because mm-hmm. this is what everyone is doing, right? So the community is also driving, at least that's my thought, yeah. is also driving product uh, innovation. Yep. 
absolutely. You know, we can take one example, right? Um, laps, mm-hmm. Windows laps, cloud laps, right? So we had laps for a long time, but then there was a need from the community from, you know, that we want cloud-based, and there wasn't one, and it, Microsoft's working on it, kind of a thing, right? It was on their radar, kind of a thing. But then community members created it, right? They created a solution and stuff. And from that on, obviously Microsoft was already working on it, that we could not disclose it. And now we have it, right? So, and also like, you know, these community tools that you guys are highlighting, are, you know, are really wonderful that you're doing that because these people spend a lot of time and energy, right? their own time, their own efforts to build these tools and, and you know, to, to get perfection and things like that. And, um, and they're also like, you know, the more people that are using their tools, the more feedback they're getting and saying, oh, yeah, could you add this extra thing? Could you add that, you know? Um, one of the things I really liked uh, when I was doing IT admin stuff was the, um, uh, there's a, there's a, a report from uh, GitHub. You could you could run this tool that would actually scan your config manager environment and give you a report exactly like what's your SQL, uh, you know the size of your SQL, how many drives you have, how many applications you have, what are the applications? Yeah, I, I can't remember the name of who wrote that, uh, but it's like. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it is. It's the first one like, was written by an Australian. Mm-hmm. Moved to Australia, at least. And, but I can't remember his name now either. He's an Irish man moved to Germany who <laughs> moved to Australia, right? Uh, uh, David uh, O'Brien. Exactly. exactly. He wrote the original one. He wrote the original yeah. one. And now we have the one for Intune instead, which Thomas wrote, who is one of the organizers here as well. So basically, yeah. you have the same thing for Intune. So you just fire off a script and you get the Word document yes. with everything in your Intune tenant. Yep. Yes. And what, what is the, the, the most favorite community tool you showed? <laughs> well, well, after this session, we, we, we actually showed two or three tools mm-hmm. that were literally released yesterday. Okay, yeah. cool. And uh, Jürgen was actually doing what I think was one of the greatest demos of the day because Petri, uh, a Finnish mm-hmm. MVP, he just yep. released He's here also. A, new, yep. yeah, a new troubleshooting logging tool that, that Jürgen demo. And I, I really think that, you know, we, we, we got an applause from everyone in the oh, room when they cool. saw this because this is really something that is changing mm-hmm. how they are troubleshooting it. And we are doing a troubleshooting session tomorrow. And of course, when we saw this tool, we decided that this is something that we need to bring on to 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 the session tomorrow yep. because this is this is super helpful and the time and effort that he put into this tool has just been amazing and it's it's really 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 a great tool so i, I think that's the most popular one today <laughs> today it mm. will be after today yeah, yeah, yeah. and and you had uh, quite some people uh, in the room so yeah, it, was good, uh, it was a good it was a good lot of, have a lot of downloads uh, Tonight or maybe now. Oh yeah, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, that's the reason why Wi-Fi. Yeah, <laughs> <has laughs> Wi-Fi is that. some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think I think that's a really good one. Uh, I yes. think that's one of the. Otherwise, it's the Intune Manager, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's also. Yeah. And when we got like we we we've been doing this kind of community session for many years now, and we always like monitor Reddit or Twitter and everywhere for new stuff. People email us new stuff. Oh, have you seen this? I use mm-hmm. this. So so every time we just renew it and add stuff, remove stuff, and try to f- figure something new, talk more about another tool and so on. So it's actually quite fun because after the session, one of the attendees came up and said, last year you showed me this. It was extremely valuable. So, so I mean, there's still a value yeah. in, in saving time, right? That's mm-hmm. what we are after, making life easier. Yeah, with the Intune management uh, tool, it's basically a PowerShell script that allows you to export and import exactly. uh, yeah. configuration, back up your configuration, mm. which is basically... Compare it. Uh, compare yeah. it, which is not possible with the Intune service mm-hmm. that it is now, but it's really valuable. Yeah. But like Jürgen said, you know, we have been doing this for many years, and of course we, 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 we always try to update the tools with the newest and latest version, but we also bring in new tools all the time. And the cool thing is we, we actually had like, you know, some tools from Petri, 
that uh, we wanted to demo. And uh, yesterday we, we had a meeting at the Microsoft office in, 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 in Zurich at the airport. And he, and he came up and he said, I, I, I released this new version, you know, last night around <laughs> midnight. Uh, if you want to, you can use it in your session because he <laughs> know we were going to do yeah. it. So, so he was actually also in the front row being there. Cool. So that was Make really pictures. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, because yeah. this is what the community is all yeah. about, right? It's all about sharing your knowledge and, and your ideas and, and getting feedback from others so yeah. mm. so so we can help everyone build a better product so because yeah. someone in another right even in your audience right and who ha who knows maybe out of the 25 maybe knows five of them or something like that but they've always had a need for something and suddenly you showed that today they're like i've been looking for that yeah, yeah. you know this is exactly what i was trying to solve and there's a tool for that like oh my god you know yeah so yeah, brilliant, great session. Yeah, but that's the fun thing with the session as well, because we can talk about the why you do it as well yeah. and talk about how we troubleshoot things and why we need to know it as well. So it's kind of like if you haven't done it before, you can also benefit from that yeah. discussion as well. And I think that's the fun thing for me, at least, to say that this is how we do it as well. This is how yeah. we use it. Not only that this is the tool and this is what you can do, but this is what we actually love most with it, because that's... That's the big, biggest challenge we have. For you know, it, it, so we, we interviewed, Franz and I interviewed, uh, what was that, Matthias and... Matthias and um, Stefan. Stefan. So Matthias oh Borg, yeah. Stefan Schroeling. Oh yeah. So uh, they were focused on security, uh, really deep security stuff, and then we brought up about AI and stuff like that. So one of the things that they talked about is, and I like what you just said, like not only do you just showing them, hey, this is tool number A or whatever, but how to use it, why you use it, yeah and all this stuff, same thing came up in that conversation where you can use AI and stuff like Copilot, whatever, to generate your scripts and things like that, but you gotta know how to read them. You gotta know code, right? You don't take it for face value, you know, right? And your name came up actually on that, uh, on that call. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sure but, it did. <laughs> but, but you were saying something like Jürgen ran you know, uh, a, a prompt in AI for like 10 times before you actually got. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah, we discussed titles, I think. And right. So just if you have problems finding a title for something, we were talking sessions, I think. Mm -hmm. Just say, chat GPT, give me 10, 10 examples of this, right? And then you still can choose, right? Give right, me this. Right. Give, give me, me 10 community tools. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We'll do that next time yeah. on stage, live, and see what it says. Yeah, no, give me 10 yeah. Intune community tools that are great. And, see <laughs> <what it says. laughs> and then when it's wrong, we can correct it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can try it tomorrow when we do our troubleshooting session and ask chat GPT how to troubleshoot Intune. And yeah. Yeah. Comes out. Yeah, hey, that would we be fun. And then the tool well. from Petri comes <laughs> out. No, no, no. No, which what you know what they say, what ChatGPT is say? You need to go to the session of your kind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I think it says it, you don't have to troubleshoot. You do. oh, it's yeah. so. But hey, you mentioned uh, if you did uh, 15, 20 tools uh, within the session. Uh, the first uh, one that came up from Petri is regarding troubleshooting. Is there are there other areas where community tools are fitting the gap? within the Microsoft stuff that is already released? I think uh, what you just mentioned, you know, the intune management, yep. you know, especially around, you know, backup, restore, comparison, yep. logging, mm -hmm. auditing, tracking what's going on is, is, is a big deal for, for many customers that it's, it's really hard to, to figure out what has been going on, what has changed since it worked and now when it's broken. And also, if you have you know multiple environments, it could either be as a, as a consultant or a partner, or it could also be you know if you have a test environment and a production environment, and you need to compare two environments or move settings between environments. I think that's uh, that's at least for me that's some of the tools that I use the most. So uh, so I think that's uh, that, that's a thing that is filling out a gap that isn't in the product today. Yeah, more or less. If you extend that uh, for MSPs, uh, mm. managed service providers, yes. if you have multiple customers and you want to deploy a baseline, for example, mm. then it's quite hard to do that nowadays without any paid tool or community tool, for yes. example. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's also application category as well. There's also mm -hmm. a lot about like. Uh, 
wrapping applications, get application data out of yeah. Intune again once you <laughs> upload it, right? It's <laughs> my file, I want to extract it. So, um, And wrapping them as well in a friendlier way. So I think it's like troubleshooting, backup, uh, comparison, and, and apps. That yeah. would be a good, good uh, categorization, I think. Mm -hmm. But also end user communication and yeah. sometimes Yeah the, the the scripts that create nice messages for okay you need to reboot now because we have exactly. a really yeah. important patch yeah. install. Yeah and shows yeah. system information yeah. as well, like uh -oh. computer name, IP address, which could be in company portal by the way, how did <coughs> <laughs> just saying <laughs> about messages. putting <laughs> taking feedback back and so on. Yeah. Oh, great it great feedback. <laughs> 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 no, but it could be in company <laughs> portal as well. Because yes. yeah. everyone wants that customers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about org messages, right? No, I'm talking about like when, when I have a problem as an end user, uh -huh. so service desk gets, what's, what's your IP address? Oh, I see, I that see. That could okay. be, that system information could yeah. could be shown in a tab in yeah, a good idea. portal. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, companies, they build, you know, like, you know, my PC info app yes, yes. that will show them all the details, you know, IP address, MAC address, location, right on the desktop, right? AD yeah. side, you know, who's logged on, what is my privileges, all that stuff that uh, a normal IT supporter would, would want to ask you if they won't be able to see that directly right. somehow, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. I like that. Yeah. Any other things around community tools? So, uh, who you guys obviously have been doing this for a long time. Who stands out as the one person that has created like a lot of tools? I, I, I think it would be unfair to highlight yeah. one over another. <laughs> so, uh, but that's I, a I diplomatic I answer. No, yeah, but you know, it's all you know. Who's the best, right? No, no, so it's not the best. It's it's to show that this is someone that actually is really passionate about maybe automating and making life simple for themselves or for others. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I know. It's I think for for me, it's more there's. Some doing a lot of tools, mm -hmm. but it's about maintaining them yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I have to maintain them. I think that's the most important part. That if you release yes. a community tool, you should actually be ready for both some support questions that's and true. and to yep. maintain it as well over time. Mm -hmm. Because if especially if Intune, I mean, graph changes, API changes, authentication true. changes, MSAL, and so on and so on. So, so I mean, you need to be ready to do that work. On top to of things, it. yeah. yeah. That's the, that's the hardest thing, I mm -hmm. guess, uh, yeah. when, when doing things in community. Because I'm running into a problem at a customer. I'm building something that helps me. Mm. Uh, I published on GitHub. It's yep. Nowadays, it's really easy to, uh, to, to, to organize that. But then, um, if I'm moving into another area, quite expertise or so, so exactly. I don't do anything with that, with that tool anymore. And then a few years later, or shorter, uh, something happening. Because and then the tool isn't work anymore. But it, it's a it's a valid point and it is a challenge when it comes to to these community tools because like you said, there is no support, there is no phone number. Yeah. You can you can. It's all voluntarily. In, exactly. You can yeah. go into to GitHub or whatever or maybe send an email to to the author of that tool, but you know it's 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 something that they do on their own time. They don't get paid for it and you know m most of them is super responsive and helpful. Yeah. Uh, if you reach out to them, but like you said, you know sometimes people move on, and and that's th that's why it's it's important that most of these tools is is actually published as you know open code or open source. So at least what you can do is to to build on top of it or uh, you know take over the maintenance if that's required at some point. But it is a challenge, and mm -hmm. and that's why many customers prefer to buy stuff because yeah, if there's a company tool. behind yeah. then there's a support. Mm -hmm. Uh, requirement that they, they and it isn't it not always better no, if you no. if you're using a pay tool. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've also seen uh, some folks who have created tools, and for either for themselves and then became a community thing, became really really popular. That to maintain it was was time consuming and stuff. But they put in the time and effort, and eventually they turned it into a paid tool, and that became their the uh, primary source of income, mm -hmm. right? Because it now they're be. focused on, they turned a tool into a business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
you know. But that's what happened with uh, with the right click to yeah. Yes, CCM exactly. Yeah. That was acquired by was it Recast? Yep. Recast. Yes. Uh, so they have both a free version, mm -hmm. a community edition, and a, a paid tool. So yeah. it, it can work. And uh, so there is a lot of stuff uh, available in the community to use. Um, how many times do you see that it's used in production in larger environments? Uh, because what you say, uh, people are more uh, having a, a paid product is more preferable in some cases. Not always, but in some cases. So is it, is it used for production also? I've done it in the past yeah, for uh, migration with, sensor. Without a doubt, absolutely. Um, especially if it's like PowerShell and so on, absolutely without yeah. the doubt. I use it in, in all my projects, mm -hmm. simply because some of the tools is not something that is going to be in the customer's environment forever. So let's say that I'm doing a project where I have to put in a, you know, a ton of policies, configuration, application scripts, etc. You know, I have a backup of it already in my in my lab. Yeah. Then I can just pull it out using this tool and, and then import it again to the customer tenant. This is, you know, th it's not something that will remain in the customer's tenant. It's not something that will be running mm -hmm. and needs to, to be support. So usually that kind of one-time configuration, documentation, configuration yeah. is, is w I will always use community tools for that. It's more of if you are, you know, deploying applications or scripts or packages that will run again mm -hmm. and again and again, and communicate with end users. This is where it gets tricky if the customer is okay with having something that is, at the end of the day, not supported by Microsoft. Exactly. Yeah. Or by any other vendor. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you need some thing that is not covered with an Intune already, then Probably there is a community tool available for it. Yeah. In many cases, yes, because probably you're not the only one who needs it, right? So yeah. yeah. Uh, you, mm -hmm. you do sessions uh, on events like this, uh, on this topic. Is there also a blog post or whatever uh, kind of information about these kind of community tools that wh wh what you have presented today? I don't know if this is available for... I think it's, it's, a, it's the... The schedule is only available for the attendees, right? The, sched the schedule yeah. here, the sessions yeah. here are only yeah. internal, are not uh, recorded or streamed. No, no, no. All no. the tools that we uh, create show today, there's link in that in the slide. But of course, based on your what you're just saying right now, I'm pretty sure that Jürgen will create a post yeah. in on his blog tonight. <laughs> he will. <laughs> where, <laughs> you know where, where, will. where all the links to all yeah. the tools that yeah. we demo today will be there. So okay. this is probably the, the source. During the Oktoberfest. Yeah. 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 So I will, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. at least during this week. Yeah. <laughs> when, but when you know, another thing is, um, speaking of blogs, it's not just tools. When we have th what we are, I think, focused here, like, really is that tools and executables or, or things like that, like PowerShell scripts or whatever that do things. But it's also resources like his blogs, right? And I've leveraged it when I used to, you know, work at the university and you know, uh, working with config manager. And there's uh, some vulnerability because of some specific DLL. All of a sudden, is you know, but how do you find this stuff? And next thing you know, you look up one of the blogs out there, and maybe Yogan comes out, and he's pretty quick about it. He's already got the the the, the query for you to use. Boom! It's right there. To me, that's a, another form of a tool, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. a yeah. resource. Yeah, that's also the community. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, uh, what I will do, when this recording will be online, <laughs> that link <laughs> to that post will be in the description. So we need a blog. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> well, we'll call it the uh, Community <laughs> Tools Oktoberfest edition. Or something. There you go. There you oh, go. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, if it's Oktoberfest, then we can write it this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it will be there, and you can uh, look in the description and uh, see uh, uh, all the all the community tools that were mentioned by uh, Ronnie and, and Jürgen uh, in this session. So, please make aware, be aware of all that community tools and use them if you need them. Thank you, guys, for now, and uh, let's meet up uh, later today. Thank yeah. you for having us. Thank you. See you. you guys are awesome. <laughs>